So, this morning on my website, uh, neurodivergentrebel.com, I posted a blog, a blog, not a blog, uh, and it was just a quick, short, 400 word, like, fiction piece, kind of inspired by some of my own uh, experiences uh, and memories of my first days in public school, and then also uh, just some of my um, memories when I was trying to uh, learn how to drive. So I kind of flipped those around and changed some details and put it into a little story. Uh, and that's on my blog now if you want to check it out. But it kind of inspired me to talk a little bit about driving because it actually kind of was hard for me to learn to drive. Um, but I drive just fine now for the most part. Um, and so I just wanted to share a little bit about some of the secrets that have helped me learn to be a better driver. So this week I wanted to talk about driving. And I have been driving since I turned 16. I have rear-ended people more times than I can count, although no one recently, uh, because I've gotten a lot more careful. I think when I was younger, it was very hard for me to maybe predict what the other people were gonna do, and that's like defensive driving, which is um, supposed to be like, you know, a really helpful tool and it took me a, a really long time to be able to like predict uh, what the other drivers were actually going to do uh, and I guess over time realizing that I don't, I can't always predict what the other drivers are going to do, it's just made me a lot more cautious. Uh, I also have realized that I can never ever get in a hurry when I'm driving because if I get in a hurry when I'm driving it never fails. I'm gonna like run over a curb or like turn too sharply and hit my car on something or I'm just gonna make some really stupid little mistake and scratch and ding my car because if you see my cute little red car, it has got scratch and dings all over it. Nothing major, um, but I have hit two cars in our parking garage since I started working at my new job and then only two, right? Only two, two, I think two. And then I have also run into a gas pump recently. Yeah, I don't know. But I try really hard to pay attention. Uh, and it, I swear it really actually did used to be worse. Um, my mom always said I don't have great depth perception, which is like judging distance of how close to you things are. And I don't know if that's necessarily true. Um, maybe it's true. I've, I don't know how you have that tested to see if you get that checked or not. Um, but what I have noticed for me is, especially like when I was first learning to drive, not so much now, I could be very easily distracted. Uh, I would start thinking about something and then I would just kind of daydream and like drift away and just, just go somewhere completely different in my head. Uh, because my memories and the thoughts in my head are very vivid and very visual and very consuming, I guess. I'm a daydreamer, you know, my, my, my thoughts really can consume me in that way and so I can get really just kind of drift away and get completely lost in uh, what I'm thinking about and forget I'm supposed to be driving or paying attention to the road. So that can be a really bad thing. Um, so when I started practicing mindfulness, one of the very first places I started to practice mindfulness was actually in the car while I was driving because I found that it was a way to keep me focused on the road and keep my brain on the road and it would every time my mind would drift off to any other thought I would like kind of almost like in my head like no now right now think about driving and I would be like okay white lines on the road white lines on the road look at that car over there look at that car and literally talking to myself in my head about things that were happening in front of me while I was driving so that I just didn't drift off and go somewhere else in my head. That's really weird, but mindfulness has really made me a better driver because I don't really have that problem anymore. Um, unless I'm listening to a really good song every now and then, like I can get really lost in a really good song. Um, or if I'm really tired, sometimes if I'm tired, I just have to turn the music off completely and I will drive in complete silence. I also don't drive with other people in the vehicle with me very often. I just rather not have the distraction, especially like um, 
talking to someone like blah 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 verbally with your mouth while I'm trying to drive that's kind of distracting for me it's hard for me to do those two things at the same time so for me it's just better if I have as few distractions as possible and I go everywhere early and I am never in a rush um, and yeah I just really really take my time even if that means like I'm gonna arrive somewhere like an hour or half an hour early that's fine so those are, that's the main thing don't rush and be really careful and don't be distracted while you're driving you know like your phone in your hand or any of that stuff don't do that uh, but do all those things and really driving isn't that bad and it does get easier although I'm 30 now so I could hope that at 30 I could drive but you know I'm always a work in progress anyway guys have a good one and be safe out there